And if the experience of Franco Villegas Escobar is any indication, whatever does walk through that door might never leave. May 2020, in Iquique, Chile, Franco Villegas Escobar is playing with his cat, when suddenly... Hey, hey! Did you catch that? Watch again, in slow motion. First, a sound from the staircase. Then, a shadow figure. Hey, hey! gone. Uh, but then, Franco's bedroom door slams by itself. This incident is just one example of the terrifying paranormal phenomena that Franco has captured in his home. And it's been happening for years. Uh, My name is Franco Villegas Escobar. I began to feel that something was on the stairs. And this figure, or this ghost, appeared on the corner of the staircase. And seeing its face that wasn't human, you can see it. It wasn't human. It really frightened me. I had a hard time sleeping that night. These events have been taking place here in the house for over ten years. And lately, the activity seems to have picked up. Watch, as just two weeks later, the shadow figure reappears. This time, even more boldly. was more, including an incident involving the shower in Franco's bathroom. Franco is terrified. This is such a reciprocal entity that requests to do things by turning on the shower. <laughs> corner of the staircase that then disappears when he goes and looks at it. And you can see its glowing eyes, and at first I thought, okay, that's the cat. But then it seemed to rear up and gained height. Something that that cat, with its color fur, wouldn't have done, couldn't have done. And he was too quick. He was on it. The shadow man phenomenon is really interesting because it's hard to pin down exactly what their motive would be. Uh, oftentimes you simply see them slipping from one darkness to the other, the shadowy corner to the shadowy corner, that sort of thing, out of the peripheral of your eyes. But no one really seems to know exactly what these things are, where they come from, or what their intentions are. Uh, but they're certainly terrifying. The second I saw the shower video, I assumed that there was a person hiding out of frame, turning it off and on. And then when he goes deeper into the shower, and you can see clearly that there is nobody there, you got yourself a haunting. Uh, no way. And Franco believes 
he knows exactly the reason why. A spirit board used by his father and his father's friends a decade ago. They had completely forgotten to close a portal that they may have opened. He told me that they were trying to communicate with the deceased mother of one of his friends, <laughs> but had received no answer. So they wanted to try something stronger, and they summoned the devil. They did not receive an answer either. However, one of his friends felt that some hands were placed on his shoulder and made him sit back down. Then, from then on, a lot started to happen here in the house. A lot of people who believe in the practice of using spirit boards say that when you invite um, an entity into your living space, you have to actually ask them to leave before you close the session with them. Otherwise, they could be here to stay. Of course, even after you ask them to go, it's still up to them whether they want to or not. If this entity has been in the home for 10 years, it's possible that it's 